What is up, guys? Welcome to our week two team builder for the GPC. This week we are taking on R.I. Pierre or Rip Pierre. Pierre, just Pierre, I guess. And the VC Rush Rams. Uh, let's go over his team real quick. It should be coming up on the right side of your screen. He's got Mega Diancy, Volcanion, Skarmory, Tapu Bulu, Meloetta, Araquanid, Electros, Palisand, Sock, and Mareep. <laughs> yes, Mareep, that's right. Um, and the first thing I noticed with this team is that he has a Tapu Bulu. And that is very scary to our team, guys. Uh, I don't have a switch in <laughs> to Tapu Bulu. There is no such thing as a switch in to Tapu Bulu unless you have Skarmory or Celesteela to begin with. So, and he has Skarmory. He drafted Skarmory. So, that's going to be tough to deal with. Now, to top that off, he also has Mega Diancy and Volcanion as his sources of offense. Uh, as well as, I guess you could put Meloetta, Araquanid, and Sock in that boat. Uh, his defensive mons look more like Electros, Palisand, and Skarmory. Now, because he has a Skarmory, I can't. I feel like I can't bring Megalopony to this game. Uh, just simply because it can run a Rocky Helmet or Leftovers and dodge two hit KOs even from Adamant High Jump Kick from Megalopony. On top of that, it could also run Protect to give me supplemental damage if that's my only way to hit it. So, I don't feel like Meg Megalopony has a great matchup this game as much damage as it does to Mega Diancy and Volcanion after Rocks, uh, and the fact that it can hit, it can almost two hit KO Tapu Bulu. I just don't feel it's very good this game. Uh, so I'm leaving it behind. What we do have, though, is for the first time uh, this season, we are bringing Thunderous. Uh, this is supposed to be nicknamed Raigeki. Let me actually just add all my nicknames, guys. Be right back. All right, we're back, and we have our nicknames now. So like I said before, this is the first time we're bringing Thunderous Therian. Uh, I'm bringing a max special attack modest set. Now, the reason I'm bringing this is because it actually does a lot of work to his team. Uh, if you look at Flash Cannon, it hits the Mega Diancy uh, for quite effective damage as well as hitting the Tapu Bulu. I felt it was a better call than running Sludge Wave. Um, Volcanion is uh, destroyed by Thunderbolt. Bolt Switch gets me momentum on the majority of his mons. He has a Palisand, but I cannot see him bringing it. Um, just because I do have the Megalopony that can hit ghosts, uh, and I also have a, an Absol, which I am bringing to this game, and it doesn't do too well against Jirachi. Like, yes, it can hit it for super effective damage, but all I need is one flinch, and then I can take it out with super effective coverage, like Energy Ball, for example. So it doesn't do too, too well against my team. So I can't see it coming. That's why I'm not bringing Grass Knot this week. But I am bringing Water EMZ Rain Dance. Now, what does this do? It boosts my speed by one and sets up rain. Normally, I'd run Thunder with this set, but I'm only going to be setting up the rain because I have to, in a way. Um... I, I, I want to explain, it's because I have to run a Z-Crystal, basically. Um, and I don't want to run Agility if I can just run Water EMZ plus Rain Dance. It'll give me one of my Z-Crystal usages for the season. I need to bring four Z-Crystals on Thunderous throughout the entirety of the season. Uh, so this gives me one of them. And it also boosts my speed in the process, meaning that at plus one, I am faster than Scarf Sock, than Mega Diancy then a Scarf Volcanion, then Scarf Bulu. I'm faster than all of those Mons, and I can hit them all very, very hard. So that's the reason that I'm bringing your Z-Rain Dance. It can win at the end of the game. It can uh, it can completely shred through Pierre's team. Uh, on top of that, his Wood Hammer from Tapu Bulu does not knock me out from full as long as rocks aren't up. Uh, stopping rocks is going to be a little bit difficult with my team. You guys know who my hazard removers are. They are Empoleon and... Um, uh, and Masquerade. Sorry, the uh, the name wasn't coming to me. But Masquerade and Empoleon are my hazard removers, and neither switch in too well. Uh, well, I mean, Empoleon can switch in on rocks, but it can't switch in on spikes, and he has a Skarmory, which can spike stack me. So I have a game plan for that. Don't worry, guys. Um, but right now, this is the best set that I think that I could run on Thunderous. So let's move on. The next Mon we're bringing is the Mon that completely shreds through his team, and that is Drizzy. And I'm looking to get another Drizzy sweep this week. We have 252 attack with a naive nature, um, because I have 80 special attack, and I have 176 um, speed. This is enough, once again, for max speed uh, Sock. If I'm at plus one, I can outspeed it. So this also outspeeds uh, Scarf Volcanion, um, Scarf Bulu. It, outspe it outspeeds all of them. Now, as you can see, I left a move slot blank, and that's because I want you guys to check out the game tomorrow, because I'm pretty sure in both my test games, this move right here, that's supposed to be in this slot, hopefully I don't forget to put it back on, uh, is quite um, is quite a win con for me. I'm not going to say what it is, but this special attack investment is actually quite important. 
um, as it allows me to do a little something to his team. Uh, Thousand Arrows just hits pretty much everything except for the Araquanid. Almost everything else it hits. Tapu Bulu and Araquanid are his only resists to a thousand arrows i very much doubt he's going to bring a raccoon into this game if he does then i'll have to figure out a way around it but i already have something prepared for it um and everything else the only thing that can take a thousand arrows at plus one relatively comfortably outside of his araquanid is skarmory and that is exactly why we're running dragon tail because the only way that he's going to get rid of my zygarde with skarm is to whirlwind it and if I'm faster, my Dragon Tail goes before his Whirlwind. So I force him out and then I keep spamming Thousand Arrows. And his Skarmory can never switch in on my Thousand Arrows. Because then it gets grounded and then it's dead on the following turn. I've done all the calcs. Basically, Skarmory just has to take one rock hit. I Dragon Tail it out and then it can never switch into Thousand Arrows again. Even if it's max defense. If I'm at plus one, I, sw I sweep straight through his team, guys. And you're, you're probably looking at Tapu Bulu and you're like... How do you kill that? Don't worry, I got it covered. Next up, we have Lucky and Bad the Jirachi. This is pretty much my momentum mon. This is the mon that's probably gonna be in the most often. Uh, we have Thunderbolt, that deals with Skarmory and Volcanion. I have 274 speed, that's faster than max speed Bulu, uh, and I can wear it down with Iron Head, even if it's a bulk, up, a bulk up set. Uh, we have U turn for momentum because I am faster than, again, Volcanion, Tapu Bulu. I can U turn on them. Not that I'm going to want to U-turn on Tapu Bulu because I can't switch anything in on its wood hammer, so that's dangerous. Uh, but Thunderbolt is there, again, for the Skarm. It has a 20% chance to para, so that's... Uh, I actually, in both my mock battles, I parried on the first Thunderbolt that I fired off. So that was... Uh, <laughs> that's that's quite an interesting trait with Serene Grace, is that Thunderbolt gets a 20% para chance, so that's fun. Uh, and then finally, we have Stealth Rocks because they're actually going to be quite important to me winning this game. Uh, if I can force his Deancey out with an Iron Head, make him believe that I'm Scarfed or uh, that I have enough special defense investment to be able to take his, uh, his Earth Power, and I can force him out, I can get up Rocks on that turn. And those are going to be so, so important, guys. I can't even stress it enough. Not only for Zygarde, but for our other Sweeper that you'll see in, in a minute. But... Jirachi is one mon, is my only mon on the team that can actually switch into a banded wood hammer from Tapu Bulu. And I know you're looking at this and you're like, wait, you have a minus defense nature. Yes, I can still take the, the wood hammer, especially if there's a wish up, which brings me to my next mon, which is Sage, the Florgis. This is a pivot for me. This is purely what it's here for, is to pivot. And the special defense investment plus the defense means that I can take both a Moonblast into a Diamond Storm from a Mega Dean from a, yeah Mega Deancey. What am I trying? Okay. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I can take both and I can Wish Protect it off. Toxic is there so that I at least have a way to hit Volcanion if it's not a sub variant. And Moonblast is of course to be able to hit uh, pretty much anything uh, at least neutrally. Uh, the, he has no Moonblast uh, weaknesses outside of Sock. But Sock is more than likely going to be packing Poison Jab. The problem is I need leftovers on this set so that I can switch into Volcanion. Because if that thing fires off a choice specs, modest steam eruption, with this investment, if rocks are up, if I don't have leftovers, I won't take two. That's how powerful that thing is. But if I find out that it's specs and it locks itself into Sludge Wave, which I can also take one of, I can switch into my Jirachi after and just pressure it out. So it's not that big a deal. Or I can let Floor just go down and just go into my Zygarde after. So that works too. Uh, like I said, Florges is going to be here as a pivot for his Mega Deancey. Uh, I have no real switch-ins to that thing uh, outside of this. Uh, it's also a pivot for his Volcanion, but his Volcanion can set up on me. That's that's the problem. It can get subs up, so I'm going to have to be a little bit careful with that. Um, wish, of course. I can Wish Pass. Like, let's say Bulu comes in on me and I have a Wish up. I can switch into Jirachi, and because of Grassy Terrain, I almost go back up to full even if he's banded. So, I'm okay in that regard. Uh, even if he's Mega Horn, by the way, guys, because yes, I do resist, uh, I do resist Woodhammer, but he also has access to Mega Horn, which hits me neutrally. I can still take it and heal back most of my health, and then I can just flinch him down with Iron Heads, so it's all good from there. So yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much Florges' role. This game is just gonna be a pivot for his special attackers in Mega Deancey and Volcanion. I should be able to take them on relatively well, so that's that. Anyway, next Pokemon, this is a really interesting set. Uh, that I designed what I like to do sometimes when I have a I have trouble bringing hazard removal is I like to deal with any and all potential stealth rockers immediately 
and that's why Pandora is coming this game. Very interesting set. Um, this shouldn't be on here. This should actually be over here. There we go. So I'm a minus defense nature. We are mild. Max special attack. Thunderbolt. I only have Thunderbolt as a special attack, but Thunderbolt does a lot to his team. Um, it's going to do a lot to Deancey if it wants to switch in. It's, go it's going to do a tremendous amount to Volcanion and Skarmory. That's the main things. As well as Araquanid. Even though its special defense is pretty good, uh, it's not going to appreciate taking the Thunderbolt from, uh, from Absol. This is basically my way to deal with his Stealth Rockers and Mega Deancey and Skarmory. Those are the only two on his team. So I can Thunderbolt the Skarmory or I can Taunt it on turn one. He won't know if I'm Scarfed or Sashed immediately. The reason I'm bringing Taunt is, like I said, specifically for the Skarmory. Otherwise, I can Thunderbolt it. I can Iron Tail the Deancey and knock it out turn one. And I can knock off Spam later in the game as well because Absol is not a bad Scarfer at all in this game. Uh, it actually does pretty well at just clicking knock off and getting rid of items. So uh, this is a pretty good mon to bring, I feel, in this matchup. Uh, Thunderbolt is also a move that I can Spam late game if I'm faster than his entire team. As you can see, my speed... Uh, is actually, uh, is this supposed to be here uh, for Bulu? No, 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 no. Uh, I decided to go with this set because uh, I have other things to take on a potential Scarfed uh, Volcanion as well as Scarfed Bulu. Uh, Jirachi deals with Scarfed Bulu and uh, my floor just deals with a Scarfed Volcanion. Plus, he can never lock himself into a fire move with Volcanion or my Zygarde gets free setup. So that's very dangerous for, for him. Uh, and as well, I could be Scarf Thunderous. The fact that he won't see an item on Thunderous and then he'll see Volt Switch uh, is going to probably indicate to him that I am uh, that I am Scarfed. Uh, that's that's probably going to be his initial thought. But if he forgets that I can run Z Crystal, then we're we're looking good. Volt Absorb allows me to switch in. I didn't mention this by the way, but Volt uh, Volt Absorb allows me to switch into his Electros. Uh, if I predict him to go for an electric move because I'm pretty sure he's gonna run HP ice There's there's no chance that thing doesn't run HP ice because I have a Zygarde uh, But HP ice from Electros doesn't do that much So uh, I can definitely switch in Thunderous if I want to and I can Volt switch on it now The thing the thing is his switch in to Thunderous is gonna be one of two things It's either gonna be Meloetta or it's gonna be Electros if it's Meloetta I think I would rather have uh, U-turn on Thunderous the thing is I also want Volt Switch because it does a lot of damage to other pot potential switch-ins because, of course, it's a stab move. So, if he feels that he can just switch in his Volcanion on a U-turn later in the game because I've already revealed it, then I'm not going to do any damage to it. Whereas, if I have Volt Switch, I get constant momentum. And like I said before, I'm pretty sure he's not going to bring Palisand. Uh, Absol is one of the reasons that he wouldn't bring Palisand because I get to pursue Trabit or just knock it off. So I can't really see that thing coming or else he kind of gives me a free win with Thunderous. Uh, I really feel like Electros is going to come instead. Uh, Electros, Electros is also the reason, the reason I'm not running Sash on Absol because otherwise I would be Focus Sash and I would just lead with this thing and I would say, screw it. If he leads with Mega Deancey, I have my Sash, I hit Iron Tail and that thing's dead. Uh, if it's uh, Skarmory, I can taunt it and then Thunderbolt it on the following turn. So... Um, Electros is the reason that I'm not doing that because if he chooses to lead with his Electros, then I lose my Sash immediately and I'm forced out. And the thing is, he can just Volt Switch on me. If I switch out of my Absol, he can just Volt Switch into his Skarmory and then he gets his free Hazards up. And I have to prevent that from happening. So that's why I'm Scarfed instead of Sash. Uh, that's my reasoning behind it. But anyway, uh, moving on to our final Mon. Now, Empoleon, if you guys don't know, gets a lot of heat for being a terrible Pokemon. And it's funny because in both my test games, Zygarde swept. But in my second test game, Zygarde only swept uh, because I misplayed. Uh, actually, in my first test game, Zygarde only swept because I misplayed. Uh, in my second game, it was more of a... Uh, uh, it, was, it was situational. But anyway, um, Empoleon is our secondary sweeper this game. And as you can see, we are running with weakness policy. Torrent, which works out well with this, uh, with this little rain dance we have going over here. Uh, Flash Cannon, Hidden Power Rock, Scald, and Agility. Now, there are a grand total, guys, there are a, are a grand total of five Pokemon on his team from which I can take a super effective attack because of my good bulk on the special side. Those being Mega Deancey, Volcanion, 
Meloetta, Electros, and Palisand. All of them I can take a hit from. And, and this is after rocks that I'm talking about. I can take a Mega Deganses, Earth Power after rocks. And I can get up an agility. And if any of his mons hit me with a super effective attack, which most of them should be running either Earth Power or Focus Blast in general. I think I think Meloetta is going to be running Focus Blast if it comes. I think Electros is going to be running Thunderbolt or at least Volt Switch if it comes. Um, and Volcanion should be running Earth Power as well to uh, to deal with. Um, well, maybe not maybe not Volcanion, but let's say Mega Deancey. Mega Deancey and Electros are my two main setup targets. Meloetta is a secondary setup target. So I have weakness policy to take the attack, get up an agility. And with this combination of moves, as long as he's not an Assault Vested Meloetta, which is bulk, way bulkier than an Assault, uh, an assault Vested Electros, as long as he doesn't bring Meloetta Assault Vested, which if he does, it will come Assault Vested, but anyway. Um, Electros has to be at 40, uh, roughly 50 to 40% for this to work. Uh, his Volcanion has to come in on rocks. His, um, how did I get it toxic Oh, right, yeah, with, uh, with Florgis. That's what, that's what it was. Uh, in my second test game. Uh, it was Toxic, then it was at 89 before it was coming in. Uh, I misplayed around that Volcanion. Uh, I, th I really thought it was going to, to come in, and uh, I didn't go for uh, a Scald. I went for Hidden Power Rock instead, uh, and that was a big misplay on my part, but anyway. Um, had I gone for a Scald, Empoleon would have swept, just so you guys know. Basically, if Volcanion is max HP, I can take it out from 69%. So I just need a little tiny little bit of chip damage on it uh, and rocks up and Hidden Power Rock will take it out at plus two. Araquanid has to be at about 90 before I before it switches in on rocks and I hit it with a Hidden Power Rock. His Deancey can be at any health, Flash Cannon's knocking it out. His Skarmory will more than likely be physically offensive for my Megalopony. So it'll die to a plus two Skull especially in Torrent, because these super effective attacks are putting me in Torrent more than likely. I've already run all the calcs. This is about the right amount of HP that I need for those moves to put me under 30% uh, while not killing me. Uh, Scald, of course, able to hit pretty much everything else. I mean, it kills Palisand, it kills Sock, uh, it kills... Uh, by the way, this speed, specifically right here, guys, is for a Scarf Sock that is speed creeping a max speed Megalopony. So, I'm faster than that. Um, Bulu, will drop to A plus two flash cannon after it comes in on rocks. Uh, we already covered Skarmory. Volcanion will die to hidden power rock. Uh, Meloetta is the only thing that can survive. I need Electros at about 50% before it comes in on rocks. Like I said, uh, Meloetta needs to be more like at 40 before it comes in on rocks. Um, and if Marie comes, I'm going to be in shock. But uh, yeah, this is uh, this is our Empoleon set. I've already made my thumbnail. Let me <laughs> Let me actually show you guys real quick. Uh, let me just bring it up on screen. Uh, you might hear some sounds. No, I'm going to take out system audio, right? Yeah, I'm going to do that. Um, I've already made this thumbnail <laughs> for the battle because I'm pretty confident that Empoleon is going to sweep. So if you guys see this thumbnail tomorrow, one of two things. Either Empoleon got a lot of kills, but it didn't finish off the sweep, or we swept with Empoleon. So it's a little bit of a spoiler. I know if you've made it this far in the video anyway, then... Thank you for uh, for watching this far, but uh, yeah, this is the thumbnail that you guys should see tomorrow, and uh, I'm going to end it there. This is uh, the team, guys. This is what we're bringing for Pierre. Hopefully, we can pull it out. I won, bo I won both my mock games because of uh, because of Zygarde, man. Zygarde is just so bad. It took HP Ice. It has a negative spadef nature, and it took HP Ice from Electros like it was nothing. Like it was nothing. It was so funny to watch. Uh, so, yeah, that's... Um, I'm actually reconsidering now changing this to a minus defense nature rather than minus spit F just so that I can take that HP ice and I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do yeah so as much as he doesn't have anything for Zygarde I really want to sweep with Empoleon just to shut everybody up man everybody that's saying that this thing is trash let me just show you how many kills I can actually get with this thing uh, I have other plans for it later in the season but you guys will see those Anyway, that's going to wrap it up, guys. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below. Don't forget to check out the battle tomorrow. It will be going up at 12 p.m. Eastern Time. So that's 9 p.m. for all of you people on the West Coast. And that's also uh, 5 p.m. Eastern, uh, sorry, 5 p.m. Uh, GMT. So London Time, if you need to uh, catch it from there. 
Uh, that should give you a general sense, no matter what uh, time zone you're in, of when this is going up tomorrow. But uh, make sure to catch that so you don't miss a second of any of our GPC games. And uh, don't forget, it's also going to be live com, so it will be a little bit longer of a video, as usual. Um, but yeah, that's it, guys. Again, if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys later. Ciao.